Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, you all the game developers out there. Hello, you all the game lovers out there. Hello, all your multiplayer gamers out there. Hello to everyone out there. Okay, friends. In last video, I just told you how to set up a Photon, Photon account and how to link your app ID to your Photon Unity project. Okay, friends. In this video, I'll really just giving you a quick overview of the Photon SDK. It means Photon package. It means what you get in this Photon package when after installing it in your Unity project. So let's start. Let's get started, bros. Okay, friends. Uh, here in the if you just uh, see there are four main folders: Photon Chat, Photon Labs, Photon Real Time, and Photon Unity Network. And there is also a documentation uh, below that that if you just open in, then it will gives you all the ways how you can use their SDK. Like here, all the things related. That's a very cool thing they have provided provided in in their SDK. How to use it, how to set up everything that you require. Subscription brought in asset. If you just go to this page, it just gives you an overview, easy overview how to use their SDK. Okay, friends, that's the thing. Now, friends, what we will be mostly using is the Photon Unity Networking. For a quick overview, Photon Chat is used for enabling your app to have a voice communication or your game to have a voice communication yeah, enabled in that. It helps you to chat uh, through voice and texting uh, in your game to the other players. That's the main purpose. Photon Labs uh, contains all the libraries that, or the DLLs that it requires to perform the multiplayer activities or syncing your games to game instances on different devices. Okay, friends, that's what does the Photon Labs, Labs short for Photon Library. Photon Real Time is the API or the the what I say is the API that is used for that allows you to help you that helps you to do all the means that's the API or that's the plugin part of the Photon SDK that is used by all others SDKs like Photon Chat, Photon Pun. If you go to their website also documentations, then there will you will also find that at the right at the right hand side that all these products this pun, bold chat, voice server quantum, all these are based on the real time. Means they have divided their architecture such as that all these SDKs use the photon real time. If you just go over to, to this section, uh, it just they will tell you how these all SDKs use photon. If you just land a little bit down, okay. But that's the part. Ah, uh, okay, friends. Just, just, just Photon real time is just used by uh, the all the apps. But what we mean, what we will be using is the Photon Unity networking. That's the these are the these are the folders that contain some demos or scripts that you can. That's a kind of a boilerplate code that you can just use it in your project. So what we'll be looking in at here, there's a demo asteroid lobby scene. Means whenever the main concept of Photon is every game is that you have to just establish a like setting a every is that connect to a master server, create room, join room, and send events. That's the gist of every multiplayer game startup or main game starting. Means you just have to connect to some server, then you join some lobby, and then you just join some room or the matchmaking and that kind of stuff. All is done at some server. So here we'll be doing it. Put on. So they have just given you some demo scenes. Demo scenes. Friends, what I suggest is that everybody should go and have a look what they, what are the scenes, where, what are the various scenes uh, in the SDK they are using. Or like you just go to here and see all the scenes that are present here these are all the photon scenes except this one that's by default comes with the project all these other scenes are from the sdk photon sdk only so that helps you a lot to start coding or start programming photon so we'll be going to this we'll be going we will go and look into this but i also start by whenever some people ask me how to start coding or how to start doing multiplayer multiplayer games or how to use photon basically what i suggest is go to some demo scenes and try to figure out the main scripts they are using in the demo script. So if you go there, there's nothing related to Photon or anything scripts. But here there is one script, even System Spawner. Let's just open it up. It will be open in my Visual Studio. It will just take some time. Just uh, I'll wait for a second. Meanwhile, I'll just tell you that the basic concept of the Photon is to sync all your game state on the different devices. And how does it do it? It just connect to a master server. Let's just go to the Photon Pun. Even Bolt, real time. Okay, like I think this is the new SDK they are providing. Oh no, that's the same thing, pun. If you want to know what SDK, you should go to Photon and switch to a Photon pun version 2 SDK. Here there is all other things. Now pun structure. If you just go and see that every Photon connection or every Photon game or game starts with this, this line of code, Photon network, dot connect using settings. This line of code here. 
gets you to set up or gets you to connect to a photon server at some uh, at this uh, sites because uh, in this tutorial or in this city in this series we'll be using so photon as a software as a service like photon is providing two kinds of services like photon as SaaS and photon as a server so we'll be using photon as SaaS because photons SaaS product is very much will be helpful to us and which will help you to just focus on our games instead of uh, instead of getting into the stuff of server side setups and maintenance and other kind of things related to the server sites that will all be handled by the photon for us and if you are using just for the development purpose you can just use their free version which gives you 20 cc you concurrent users currently concurrent users friends every photon game starts with her like uh, yeah my visual studio is taking a little bit of time okay for the first time it just takes time every photon game starts with by using this every it means in your scripting if you just go and it will use this line photon network dot connect using settings fun uses callbacks to let you know when the direct and if you want to know what what are the various events are happening you just can either inherit this class or just implement this interface i connection callbacks if you do one of these things then you can just all these methods join room these what you are seeing here all these rooms all these methods just and get copied into your or inherited into your scene okay friends that's the thing for it and how your photon manages if you just you just for the more betterment or for more knowledge you just can go and see all this how you can set up all the things uh while we look i think we have moved to the yep uh okay uh that was we just uh, move back to the some other pages for the photon real time apk but if you see it here all these functions can be accessed by using the uh for by using the method provided by the photon or by using some now it's uh, still taking some time and then can pour it by i mean meanwhile we'll be just discussing how we can use this so what i was telling you that these callbacks what you are doing here you are just sending fails if some room is not existing closed or full error callback i matching callbacks dot on join random on join room failed and these are the callbacks or methods that be created by the photon and you just will be while in the coding part i'll just use these methods and help you to like uh, help you to understand how to code okay we just uh, move to the visual studio it's taking us some time uh my, my pc is a little bit slow okay so this script i don't think is doing anything it's just checking if whether we have a event system or not in our scene if we don't have we will just create some uh, object and it add event system to that that's all it is doing next move to this script this object is also doesn't have okay let's then move to this script yep here's something top panel but i think it also doesn't have anything ah there we go lobby main panel player numbering okay friends i think this is the main panel and it's talking a lot i think this is maybe this is the script that we were looking for yep yes here you can see what i was telling you before is that by implementing this or by inheriting this method you can have all the callbacks or all the methods in in your class like here on room this button click like here all the on join oh these are the constant oh, here it is one callbacks so that's what i was talking if you just go and visit these demo scenes they've already given you a lot of code you just have to know how to use that or just copy that code and start using that code also that makes you that helps you a lot also and that's the very thing and if it is and still they are getting not then there's a, a very good documentation they provided online and the way and they have also provided with their sdk now friends what i always suggest is try to go and see all these scripts or all these classes like what they are actually doing this class provides a photon net view and all callbacks events that one on call or write the events methods you want to use so what i really do is every time i just get confused i just right click on some class name or any object type and then i just go to i just click on the go to definition and it takes me to a to that class definition or to that class script so here we can see there's a a pretty good long script explaining a lot of thing like in a thousand lines or <laughs> it's almost around because i'm almost completing it yep that's 1005 lines but i think that's doing a lot of things but it's in fun classes so it's doing actually a lot of thing and we don't we, we, it's a very good thing okay friends we'll be looking a lot on on these classes in the future videos but for the today's video i was just telling you that to how to get started with the photon sdk and have you a walkthrough of that
what I really suggest you is to use uh, go and try to go to the various demo scenes they are providing and try to find the objects like we go to every object and try to find some scripts like this which are not by default provided by the unity okay friends so that gives you a lot of insight into the SDK how to use it because they are, if someone is providing you something then they also provide you I they like they also provide you to with the documentation also or some sample scenes or example scenes so here they have provided us with this okay friends that's all for today and what I was lecture uh, and before I leave for the today I'll just give you a, a quick main demo main point of this video is that these all functions is called after you first create a query to the photon server and that's and how you do that query is by writing this this statement here this okay where it is where it is after writing this statement this statement at line number 241 if you write this statement only then after all those functions about pun callbacks all those functions about pun callbacks are called are you getting me friends all these functions pun callbacks are called only after you have called that photo network dot connect using settings these all functions are only called after you call this and after that by receiving all those uh, callbacks you can do anything you want to here they are also initiating some other commands also so basically most of your work is done by using the photo network this is the class that has provided you with a lot of static functions that you can easily see if you go to that definition of that class if you just go to the okay what is happening photon network okay photon network part photon network part okay that's a long long script okay we will be just leaving it for the today okay, well, that's all for today i hope you like this video and understand a little bit of, about photon and uh, if you really like this video please like share and comment and i would really like to have a lot of subscribers so that people can give a lot of valuable feedback to these videos and tell me how i can improve these videos and to tell me what new what type of videos they want and what kind of content should i put on my put on this channel i really like your comments i'll be very happy to answer the, all your queries so friends please like share and comment okay friends bye 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 bye